yeah, I guess we always push them to be better. But, yeah, at the end of the day, we've won our three warm-up games, won our first four games. Um, the bowlers know the areas we're working on, but at the end of the day, we've got the job done and we're pretty happy with the business end to come just peaking nicely. Yeah, we got them out at the end of the day. Over, uh, it was good because everyone got a bowl. That was what we were chasing. You know, Serie A, got to play a first game and get a good bowl in at this level, which is nice. Um, you know, Beamsy got to come back in the side and have a good bowl. So, yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to roll them early, but at the end of the day, we bowled them out for 130 on a pretty good wicket. And if you saw the cricket they played at the end there, it was pretty hard to get anyone out when they're not playing any shots. Yeah, it's different cricket, I guess, coming from where I came from in the men's game, absolutely. But I think, you know, our spinners have been doing a fantastic job and it's been... Uh, the, Sri Lanka, the South African series last October, November was a really good uh, challenge to our quick bowlers and, and Shooter was definitely one of those that we had to improve and had to fight for the overs to get the overs back from the spinners and I think they've done that. You know, Shooter's worked really hard during the winter and, and, and changing a few things and has really come back into the site really well and then, you know, Pez is doing well, um, still sort of working on the things that she's doing but creating impact. Um, but I think if you look around the whole World Cup, pace on the ball has, has been going the distance. So I think our quicks have done a pretty good job compared to some of the other sides with their, their, their quicks. It's going to be a good game, isn't it? I think, yeah, the women's game is going through the roof. It's progression, you know, it's the, probably the, the big sides have become more and more professional. And, you know, with that becomes the, the strength and the power that comes with that um, and, and the time actually put, getting to put into their skills. So you, you can see the, the benefits of that in this tournament. I, I don't know the numbers, but I'm assuming there probably wasn't 300 scored on a regular basis in the last game where, you know, the high 200s, 300 is, is a fairly regular occurrence. Smaller grounds, our outfields are rock harder as well, which helps. But, um, you know, I, I think we, you know, we're a good chasing side and we back ourselves to chase, chase anything, whether that be 130 or, or 330. Pretty good. Um, I've been happy since I've been here that, you know, there's obviously a bit more cloud around than there is in Australia a lot, at a lot of times. But, yeah, the ball seems to be moving a little bit since I've been over here. And um, once I come on to bowl at the death, it tends to be a bit more grippy so I can do my slow balls and my fancy things. So it's been, it's been pretty good. Um, it's been a good challenge, I guess. You know, you've got to really fight hard for your spot in the team. And we have 15 people that could go in and bowl a few overs. It's a, maybe a couple in there that probably shouldn't. But, um, no, it's been, it's been a good challenge. Like, as, as Joe said, you know, pace has been going the way in women's cricket at the moment. And um, I think that just means you've got to add more strings to your bow. For me, it's, I'm not express pace. Um, I have a bit of a joke about it, but I know I'm about 10K off pairs. And, and I think that suits me a bit better as well, you know. I think... For me, it's about the change-ups and bringing the pace off the ball. So I think it kind of says everything about it at the moment. I think it's, it's the biggest rivalry there is uh, in Australian cricket. So I think it's always a cracking game and that makes the rivalry that much better. I don't think anyone ever really smashes the other team. So I think you're always in with the contest and you're never really out of the game. Um, I think you can always improve. Um, it's hard for me to say because obviously I look at it from a different angle being a bowler. So for me, it's just um, learning, learning new things every time you go out and train. So... I like to, to do the change-ups, you know, I'm not really probably going to get too much quicker, I'm not a big lass, so um, learning new slower balls and things like that is, is my aim, and obviously just batters is looking to probably improve um, running between wickets, things like that, so I think there's just every area you can, can improve in, and, you know, the more professional we get, the more time we get to work on that. I think so. Um, for me, you know, it's been a, been a bit of a tough last um, 12 months or so with trying to fix some little niggles that I've had but I think coming back with a shorter run and having a bit more energy that you know I'm putting a bit more out on the park which is nice so um, I think for me still waiting for that perfect game you know I guess when you come to this level you're kind of hard on yourself no matter how you go so I'm just happy if I can contribute in some way.